Welcome to our new GeoWiki campaign, which is called the Global Built-Up Surface Validation Campaign. We are super happy that you are contributing to science by getting involved, as your inputs are really valuable to us. The focus of this campaign is to gather data on built-up areas, which are essentially buildings, at around 50,000 locations globally. Together, we will create a generic validation dataset, which will be used to validate the global human settlement layer produced by the Joint Research Center of the European Commission. As well as helping science, you will also get the chance to win great prizes. To participate in the campaign, you need to follow a few simple steps. First, go to www.geowiki.org and then click on Launch GeoWiki. Second, if you do not have a GeoWiki account, please press register here to get started. Please use Chrome or Firefox to access GeoWiki. If you have any problems or questions about how to register, feel free to contact us at builtupcampaign at iasa.ac.at. If you already have a GeoWiki account, simply click on Login. Then just click on Enter Application and you are ready to start. On the top left of the GeoWiki screen, Select Global Built-Up Surface Validation to start classifying. GeoWiki will remember your settings, so the next time you use GeoWiki, you will be taken directly to the campaign. The first time you enter the Global Built-Up Surface Validation branch of GeoWiki, you will be taken through a quick start guide. The guide is very important because it provides essential information on how to classify the images that you will see. Pay special attention to two things. First, how we define the built-up class, which is basically buildings, but take note that this does not include roads. And secondly, pay attention to the three main steps that you need to do for each validation. Click the Next button to read through the guide. You can access this guide at any time from the Quick Start Guide button, which you will find on the left-hand side of GeoWiki. When you finish reading the guide, you will see your first satellite image. On it, you will see a yellow box, which is divided into eight rows and columns. So in total, there are 64 cells in which you should look for built-up areas. To start classifying a location, first click on the toggle button on the right-hand side of the GeoWiki panel under step one. This will move back and forth between Google and Bing imagery so that you can look for built-up areas and any changes between the images. Press the button again to stop this movement. You can also change the speed at which the images move back and forth. If you don't see any built up on the Google and the Bing image, press No Built Up under Step 2 and your classification will be automatically submitted. This would be the case for the example you see here. However, if you were to see a change in built up, for example a new building appears in one of the images, press Yes because you detected a change in built up. Similarly, if there is built up in the images but you can't see any change, press No. Of course, sometimes it's really difficult to tell if there has been a change because of the quality of the images. In this case, select not sure. Note that we are not interested in any other kind of change, only whether the built up changes. Also, ignore any changes outside of the yellow box, even if you see new buildings appearing there. If you see built up, click on the built up button under step three and shade those cells in red. Note that you will always use Google imagery for shading the built up. However, the Bing imagery can help you to identify buildings that may be blurry or difficult to see on the Google imagery. So use the toggle feature to look at both images when interpreting the built up. Use the transparency slider tool on the bottom left hand side to be able to better see what is below the shading. Use this tool regularly because it can really help you to see if there is any small amount of built up in the cell. Similarly, if you're unsure about whether the cell contains built up, click on the I don't know button first and then shade those cells yellow. If you change your mind, click on the clear pixel button and clear the cell of any shading. If you have any comments about a particular validation, feel free to enter this in the comment box. Once you've finished your validation, press the submit button. However, if the Google image is missing or the image is blurry, cloud covered or simply not high enough quality, you can skip it by first selecting a skip reason and then pressing the skip button. Pay attention to the additional zoom levels provided as they can be very helpful to give you context. You can click the quick start guide button on the left anytime when you need to review our instructions. Click on the view examples to visit our gallery of images with some rules and tips for classifying built up images. 
Click on Ask Experts for Help here or on the right bottom of the GeoWiki page to email us a question. Someone from the GeoWiki team will review your question and post an answer in our Facebook GeoWiki group or write you back. You can also use this button to give us feedback as we value your suggestions. Finally, if you want to find out how you're doing in relation to others, click on the leaderboard. The first 10 images will be control points. They have been chosen to help train you in classifying built-up areas. After you complete each control point, you will receive a quality score and instant feedback so that you can learn from your mistakes. At the end of these 10 images, your quality score will be reset to zero so that you are not penalized during this learning process. After these 10 points, the campaign starts for real and control points will appear randomly from now on. Your quality score and therefore your position on the leaderboard will be determined by how well you do on these control points. For each control point that you classify, you can earn a maximum of 20 points or lose a maximum of 30 points. On top of that, you can earn five bonus points for getting the change information right, or you can lose these points if you get it wrong. These bonus points are not awarded every time, so be diligent in looking for change and built up between the Google and Bing images. Since the 50,000 locations are spread throughout the world, this means that some locations will be very remote and that satellite imagery may not be available. Hence, you may encounter one of these three situations. In case one, Google imagery is missing, but Bing is available. All you need to do is write Bing available in the comment box. Choose no Google image as the skip reason and press skip. In case two, Google imagery is available, but Bing is missing. In the comment box, write Bing missing. If there is no built up in the Google imagery, select no built up in step two. Otherwise, if there is built up, select not sure in step two and validate the image as you normally would by shading the built up areas. Press the submit button when you're finished. Finally, in case three, both Google imagery and Bing imagery are missing. In the comment box, write Bing missing, choose no Google image as the skip reason and press skip. So what do I do if I encounter water? For example, points may fall inside a lake or a river. It's obvious that water is not built up, but it would be really useful to us if you could write water in the comment box, if the entire yellow box contains water. As in previous GeoWiki campaigns, we will reward our participants with prizes. The top 30 participants who contribute the most, which is measured by a combination of the quality score and the quantity of validations done, will be offered prizes in the range of 50 to 500 euros, and participants will also get the chance to become a co-author on a scientific paper. If you click on the leaderboard button on the left-hand side of GeoWiki, and then click on the Campaign Aims and Prizes link, you can find more details there. Thanks for watching this video, and happy validating. Don't forget that if you have any questions, email us on builtupcampaign at iasa.ac.at or post a message in our GeoWiki competition Facebook page. During the campaign, we will try to get back to you as quickly as possible and certainly within 24 hours.